So visiting surgeons always ask me, what exactly do I mean by plastique surgery? And many patients ask me to, who travel to me from very, very uh, really capable surgeons who all over the country and world that they've consulted. So plastique is a level that I've created for past three decades, which raises surgery to artistry, which means not only should it be surgery, but it should be elegant, least interventional, no pain, flawless, and consistently artistic. So once you raise surgery to artistry, that's the level one of plastique series. Then what is important to me is how intensely you have measured the patient. For example, let's say if you do a patient's cataract surgery, you just took some measurements for the lens and then decided among the three or four lenses you use to provide that high definition or premium lens option. That is not plastique. To decide among 34 lens options, to measure each level of visual error that the patient has, and to protect or correct the associated pathology, let's say corneal scar or fuchs dystrophy or small pupil, and at the same time to put in and remove the cataract and take the patient with no stitches, no anesthesia, no pain, that is reaching the plastique level. Take for example, as an analogy, someone who has a broken nose, right? The surgeon puts the nose back in place or mends it together. That's great, that's surgery. But if you take that same concept and raise it to where that nose should look better than what the patient was born with before it broke, now you're talking artistry. Now raise that level to plastique level, where not only are you fixing that broken nose to make it look normal and even better, but you're also compensating the nose's position in such a way that without touching the improper cheeks and the ears, you're making the whole face look even more symmetric and beautiful. Does that make sense? So if you take every surgery you do, in my case I do, whether it's cataract, LASIK, corneal, whatever I do, I'm always touching and reaching or aspiring for that level. When not only am I fixing what's wrong, I'm also addressing everything else associated with it in the least interventional fashion and in many times without touching it. For example, if I'm doing cataract surgery through 20 cut during keratotomy cornea, without touching the cornea or its cuts or the scars, I'm optically canceling the bad impact on vision from that cornea by performing cataract surgery in such a way with a high definition lens that I cancel the optical aberrations. Think of this as if you have a leg that is crushed or all bones are broken and easily for a doctor it's very easy to say let's amputate this leg. No, my mindset is how do I keep that leg with its broken bones and make you run into Olympics? So it's an attitudinal thing, attitude. The attitude has to be how do you not disturb the patient's anatomy? How do you don't do surgical acrobatics just to show off, but actually deliver vision? Making it very difficult for you, the doctor, because you want to deliver surgical artistry. You want to correct more than just the cataract, and at the same time, the surgery just looks like a cataract. But you spend hours planning, measuring not only the cataract, but the associated refractive errors like near, far, sightedness, astigmatism, reading, whatever vision issues you have. It's associated pathologies like fuchs dystrophy, corneal scar, real keratotomy, keratoconus, whatever previously I said. At the same time, also preventing problems that are possible like narrow angle glaucoma. So if you look at all these things, suddenly your cataract surgery becomes what I call lensoplasty. When you do LASIK surgery without a flap, without cut, without blades, and you are able to correct even thin cornea, large pupil, high astigmatism, now it's called laser plastique. When you correct the corneal scars and abnormalities of keratoconus, cross-linking, radial keratotomy complications, now you're talking corneoplastique. So that's the concept of plastic surgery to which I've devoted my life, not only to perform on each and every patient of mine, but to inspire every colleague in my entire eye care industry. For you, Dr. Kalani.